everyone, it's Malia and I have made it to Hawaii, at least in my hotel room. But I am so excited to be here. I'm going to be in Hawaii for two weeks, one week by myself, and then next week my parents are gonna come and join me for Christmas. This has been a very short trip in the making. I decided I wanted to come back because back in June, I came here for the first time, honestly fell in love, and I told myself, you know what, I'm gonna come back one more time before the year ends, and here I am. Am. But honestly, I'm very excited to just eat all the good food, relax, and you know, just take time away from life, even though I'm going to be working for the first week while I'm here. You know, the corporate slave in me can't take work off, but it's fine. I'm not going to complain because at least I'm in a new setting. But as you know, I am on a solo trip craze right now and I told myself you know what I'm just gonna keep spending all my money and travel as much as I can before my company makes me start going to the office on a regular basis so I'm gonna take this opportunity and just travel 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 so yes that's what I'm doing and because of the time change it is only five o'clock but before I go off and frolic around Waikiki I do need to catch up a little bit on work and then I'm probably going to unpack later tonight but then I'll just freshen up and then go get some food and walk around Waikiki but yeah I'm just so excited for these next two weeks and I can't wait to bring you all along with me okay time to work meal I got of course a poke bowl sorry it's blurry I'm really craving poke and of course when you're in Hawaii you have to get poke and honestly after my first trip in June poke never tasted the same it is not good at all in the mainland the quality isn't as good the sauce isn't as good I mean I'll still eat it but nothing beats Hawaii poke I got half ahi and half salmon oh. Let's try the tuna first. Mmm. 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 Delicious. Mmm. The sushi rice is very good. It's really seasoned. I feel like I say all the food that I get is delicious, but it's true. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a huge critic when it comes to food. As long as it tastes good and the quality is good, that's a thumbs up for me. Well done. All right, just to unpack, and I really made myself at home. I mean, I am gonna be here for two weeks. My little side table, I packed all my vitamins. Also, I bought this book, People We Meet on Vacation. Very fitting, because I'm on Vacation. I don't know if I'm gonna meet anyone. I don't really read anymore, but We'll see if I do in these next two weeks. Also Hello, I am now settled into my home for the next two weeks oh, Smart TV Tell me why I had a feeling this would happen in Seattle the garden Inn that I stayed in did not have a smart TV so this is why I brought my HDMI cable, so...
got a tuna mayo rice roll or an onigiri and then I got the bacon, avocado, and spam musubi. So I'm excited to try these. Also brought my laptop. I decided I'm just gonna work a little by the poolside area and be a corporate girl. I haven't had a good onigiri since my Japan trip in 2019. So this hits the spot, very satisfied. Yes, I'm very happy with this. And here it is. You can see the little avocado, bacon, and spam. And look at the rice. Kind of a lot of rice for this portion, but it's fine. Mmm. I usually never go for bacon, but this is a good combo. The avocado definitely balances both the bacon and the spam out. So I like this as well. Very good breakfast. I'm going to work now. I'm so close to the kids and the glow. Yeah. It's hard not to chase the zeros when they're dangled in front of your nose. That's just the way that it goes in the games we play. It's all about the X's and O's. But down here by the water. None of that matters All of those worries They float away It's gonna take me walking away For good I mean very responsible And bringing my camera into the ocean but it's fine because look how beautiful. I kind of miss the sunset. It's not as warm as it was yesterday, but still beautiful. I love Hawaii. For a place to eat dinner. I was gonna go to Maragame, but that line is so long, and I love Maragame, but it's not worth that line. And I've seen it shorter, so I'll save it for another day. But I don't know what to eat. already I can see it oh I hate it here they're not even open yet but I'm gonna wait this time and actually eat it so hopefully it's not too long of a wait yeah no it's pretty fucking long so I hate it here
wait wasn't too long. I think I waited about 20-ish, 30 minutes at most. So not too bad, but I got my food. I got the curry udon, just the regular. And then the tempura I got was pumpkin and zucchini. So I'm very excited. I don't really remember how this tastes, but I know it's gonna be delicious. And I also put a lot of chili flakes because I like my soups spicy. Sorry. I don't know how my camera focuses. I'm so excited. Long noodles for a long life. Cheers. Delicious as always. Yeah, this was worth the wait. I think it's worth a 30 minute wait. Anything over 30, go somewhere else. So good. I'll probably go here again before I leave. So I went to Louis and they didn't have the bag I wanted. I've been trying to get my hands on the Philly Chic Pochette in Monogram for the past year and I cannot find it. So, am I gonna leave Hawaii with the bag? We shall see, we shall see, but I gave her my number, so hopefully if it comes in, she'll give me a text. Oh, well, my friends don't care about everything as long as you got a story to bring, we'll take you along. Got some cane juice, and it was $10. <laughs> my face when he told me the price, but we'll try. It's very sweet. That's like pure sugar. Actually, it's not that sweet now that I think about it, but it's very good. It's worth the $10. I really like it. Ooh. Hello, hello. I am in my lovely rent-a-car, aka a Prius. So, what I used to rent a car here in Hawaii is the app Turo, which is basically Airbnb, but for cars. I was going to rent through Enterprise and it summed up to be about 1300, but on Turo, I'm only paying about 600, so I cut the price in half. Um, definitely recommend it as long as you read the reviews of the cars that you're looking at and make sure that the owner or the person you're renting from has good ratings, then everything should be okay. Um, and the lady who rented me this car was so nice and it was very easy. I just picked up the key from a lockbox at her house and was off in my little Prius. If you need a cost-friendly rental car service, definitely check out Turo. Not sponsored, but promoting for the free. Conversations have died out I'll play the music from the beginning And then we all just see it again then I just walked down the main street for a little. I was thinking of getting dinner, but honestly, I was still pretty full from the poke bowl that I had, so I just skipped down on dinner. But I'm going to eat a slice of Ted's Bakery Pies. Ted's Bakery is in North Shore. I'm planning to go either Saturday or Sunday, but Foodland in Ala Moana does sell the pies that we all know and love. I got the Lila Koi cheese pie. What can I say? I just love food too much. I should just be a mukbanger, but 
Here is the pie. Cheers. Mmm. It's scrumptious and delicious. I want to try to stop saying delicious, but I can because that's what it is. It is delicious. While we eat this pie, I'll just talk about some thoughts about my trip so far. It's been a great trip. I think the dynamic of having to work in the morning and halfway through the day is very interesting, but I'm kind of glad that I didn't take work off because I think that would have been way too much free time on my hands. I think it's still good that I'm keeping busy, you know, doing my job, making money for half of the day. Due to the time change, I'm pretty much off by like 2 p.m., 3 p.m. here. So that still gives me more than enough time to just go hit a beach or two. So it's definitely still a good balance of my time. I had a one-on-one -on -one with my coworker the other day and she asked if I ever get lonely and part of me does. You know, it's still nice to have someone to travel with. But I think what makes it okay for me is that since I am an only child, I really learned how to be by myself and to be in my own company. So sometimes it gets lonely, but it's not too much of a bother. And I know it's only for one week. It's not like I'm gonna be by myself for months on end. So I'm really just taking advantage of this time that I have with myself to just relax and do whatever I want on my own terms. But so far, this is my second official solo trip. I really can't wait to do more. I think 2022 is when I focus on traveling, especially because the Pinterest offices aren't planning to open until next summer. So I really just wanna hit as many places as I can. Hopefully I can do an international trip as well, but we'll see, who knows, maybe another variant will come out of the cuts. I'm almost done. I really shouldn't finish it. I don't think I will, but I'll have a few more bites. sad because Poke by the Pound is closed. <gasps> oh. I tried to open the door and it was locked and the lady inside went. This is why I suck at traveling because I should have checked what time they closed. So now I need to figure out what to do. I was going to go to the Alani area but now I don't know. So time to check Yelp and see what I can do next.
Okay, just finished my lunch. It was very yummy. It was, I think, Shin Ramen, but I still liked it. I appreciate all the stuff they added to it. Also, shout out to Nyla. I'm pretty sure that was her name, but I met a fellow army named Nyla, and her and her mom were so sweet. We were sitting next to each other, and then we took each other's pictures at the table where their autograph was. Also, huge shout out to the waitress who was working here. She was so nice. And then when I was done eating, she let me go into the section where BTS actually sat. So where their autograph is, that's not where they sat. They actually sat in a different part of the restaurant. And there, it's literally a shrine for them. There's just all BTS and BT21 pictures. And they even have a TV playing the episode or like clips of them actually eating there. So definitely for any BTS lovers, fellow ARMY, come check it out. It's worth the experience. I think I'm gonna come back and bring my parents because I don't know why I ordered ramen. I should have ordered something else but I think I was just really frazzled when I walked in and just ordered whatever I saw first. So I'm gonna bring my parents back and we'll see you then. But Sarangay! Hey. Hey. And I'm still 30 minutes. I've been driving for like an hour and I was falling asleep and I think I made the wrong choice today. <laughs> Can now get to eat my poke bowl. I've been waiting a long time for this, but the Alani Lagoon is very nice, family friendly, very calm. There's a bunch of chairs that you could sit at, and yeah, I wish I came earlier or on a better weather day. But it's super cute, good alternative if you don't want to be at an actual beach or if you want to go somewhere more family friendly. But I could never afford a night at Alani. I mean, I can, but I don't think I would be okay spending that much money to stay here 10 out of 10. Like that, it's gone. <laughs> Amazing! I feel like I don't belong here because everyone here is pretty much parents with their kids. So maybe I should go. And then look at the room situation. There's basically buildings surrounding the entire pool and Lazy River area and they just look down on it, but very, very cool. I think everything here is cool. Reunited with Duffy.
chili fries. Cheers. Mmm. Oh my gosh, they're cash only. I have to go to an ATM because I left my cash at home. SMH. Here she is. I got the number one, which is the garlic shrimp plate. Very classic. I heard on Yelp or I read on Yelp that their spicy shrimp is like too spicy. Even for people who like spicy, I love spicy, but I want to enjoy my food. So I just got the regular. I think this is vinegar. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm, that's pretty good. Keep it all together ever since we left. I guess it just makes sense to what the reasoning was when I said in case I go. No Delicious. Rain or shine. Poke by the pound stays undefeated. Oh my god. So I decided to go in. Just a quick little dip. Because the water is actually pretty warm, so can't get this anywhere else. Sure, I'm gonna drive around the whole island today um, but I wanted to get another shrimp plate from a shrimp truck just because it was so good and who knows yesterday I got these spicy garlic shrimp plate I decided to try spicy today just because um, regular shrimp scampi is good but I do like the spicy flavors hopefully it's not too bad it looks so good I cannot wait to try it let me just take some quick pictures. I didn't even take a bite, but the flavor, so good. I think it's better than Homos. Cheers. This is very good. I think this is better than Homos. I 
also got a coffee. This is what I got yesterday from Island Vintage Coffee and their Island Latte is so good. There is macadamia and coconut in it and it's just a lovely treat. And it kept me up last night so it's pretty strong but yay for coffee. In the hotel I just walked around a little and then I got two lays because my parents are arriving tomorrow so I'm gonna surprise them with this I won't be alone anymore yeah that's a good thing I think 